Mic check one, two. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the YouTube tape episode 13. It's pretty late here, so I'm gonna kinda keep my voice down, um, but I still will be able to narrate what's going on. I thought since I'm gonna have to keep my voice down, I'd also open this notepad here. So here's the order we're gonna go in. We're gonna start off with Grand Piano. Uh, I'm creating these for the month of April, and April is gonna be all Grand Piano. The next thing we're gonna do is bass, and the bass I've loaded up is P-Sub. Check out my P-Sub tutorial if you haven't already. It's basically P-Bass layered with Sub. After that, we're gonna do our Sticks track. That's gonna be things like hi-hat, uh, maybe like a cross stick, maybe like a secondary snare, maybe like some ghost notes, maybe like some snare rolls, stuff like that. Um, it's actually just a simpler that I've already loaded with all of these samples down here, as you can see. So this is like one long audio file and I've chopped it up to the transients. We're going to be able to trigger different sticks and then pick our favorites. It's going to be like the hi-hat or the metronome or the click track, basically the thing that helps us keep time. And then lastly, we have our drum bus. And in the drum bus, I have dense kicks and then I have snares that I've already recorded to and from tape. TDK SA90 tape from 1985. So they're going to sound crisp and snappy and acoustic, have a lot of bright air on top. Um, and then the kicks, I kind of sorted ahead of time to have a gut thud characteristic is what I call it. Meaning like you want it to hit you in the gut, knock you in the solar plexus, something to like knock the wind out of you. I might also add vinyl crackle. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how dirty the track sounds already. Um, and then at the very end, we're also going to bounce to tape. The cassette deck that I'm using is a Tanberg TCD 320 from 1978. Okay, makes sense so far? All right, cool. So why don't we get started here? I'm going to start off the grand. What I'm going to do is actually just play a long piece. Uh, not worry about the time. I'm not going to have the metronome on. And afterwards, I'm going to bounce that in place or freeze and flatten in Ableton. That's going to give me a long audio file. And then I'm going to try and find a found loop, meaning like a small section that I can loop and repeat. And then I'm going to change the tempo of the project file to match that loop and then build my drums around that. If it doesn't make sense now, it will in a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's, let's do this. No more antics. Just, just, just straight biz. What on earth did I do to this piano, bro? So we caught a loop here and then what I did was after chopping it out I changed the project file BPM to match the loop. The loop is 56.91. I know it's not like perfect or whatever but here it is. Pretty grimy, pretty hardcore. Uh, I don't know if I have confidence to do this right now but I'm gonna do my best with it. We're gonna lay down bass next and then hopefully we can turn it into something dope. Alright, let's chop it up. The bass has a ton of drag, can you hear it? It's like right, uh, just a little bit too late, but I'm gonna fill that in with the kick and fill it in with the sticks, so let's just do it. I kinda want a metronome. I definitely got in the last one. Dope. All right, moving forward. So I caught a hi-hat loop. Um, here is what the original one looks like. I was just playing on one key, right? And then I shifted the MIDI notes around to kind of create a cool, interesting sticks track. So first, here's the straight one. Sorry, not the straight one, but that was the one that was one sample. And here it is transposed around. 
This way we get a little bit more variation. It's more interesting. So let's move forward with the kick and snare. Thank you. 